here are the things having high cortisol could do to your body. Seen y'all talking about these, so I got them and wanted to try them. And I've been taking them for like a week now. I like to take it before bed. The first day I took it, it tastes like Pez, by the way, which is a 10 out of 10. First day I took it though, I took it kind of early and I did feel a little sleepy. Some people do experience sleepiness when taking ashwagandha and this has ashwagandha in it. So that makes sense. I've been taking it before bed instead and the feeling of not, before I would wake up almost, not in a panic, just kind of making sure my son was there and that's already spiking my cortisol. You get what I'm saying? And I've been trying to wake up and not go on my phone immediately, get up, open the blinds, look at the sunlight. So me doing this on top of doing what I can to lower my stress levels has honestly worked very well because adequate sleep is one thing that can help. And before taking this, my sleep was not that well. I would still wake up and now I don't. 